Hello, Joe here from Infinity of Tacoma. Today I'm going to tell you about this beautiful 2020 BMW X5 M 50i. Not quite the X5 M, which is the top, uh, you know, top performance version of the X5. Um, but uh, this is kind of like the X5 M Lite. Um, featuring a twin turbo V8 pumping out 523 horsepower. Uh, it's actually more powerful and quicker than some older versions of the, the X5M. Of course not the newest one which is over 600 horsepower. Um, it comes with a lot of performance goodies, 22 inch wheels, performance tuned uh, suspension. Uh, if you want to read a good quick review of this one, I was looking up some information. I found a nice archive review from Car and Driver. Uh, they kind of called it the beast without the bragging rights because kind of the X5M is the halo car But this one is uh, I like it because it's uh, kind of like the Goldilocks It's not as too hard-edged and high octane as the X5M um, It's kind of a little bit more easier to drive uh, every day and it still has tons of power. Uh, a car and driver uh, did 0 to 60 in a tad under 4 seconds. That's really impressive for a vehicle that weighs 5,300 pounds. It's, it's pretty big. Uh, 0.9 G's on the skid pad. That's also performance car territory. This is a relatively local vehicle from the Portland area. One owner clean Carfax. Only 8,324 miles. So if you like the options, and you like the color combination, this might be a great alternative over a brand new one, but the one thing is different is you're not gonna pay that new car price. When you have a vehicle, especially, you know, the more expensive vehicles get when they're new, the more and faster they're, they depreciate. So basically, when this vehicle was driven off the lot, it became a used car, and it took its first, uh, you know, biggest initial hit of depreciation. So the window sticker on this one was $91,195. I don't like to get too much into pricing on these videos because once this video is online, it doesn't change, but our pricing changes on a weekly basis. But right now it's priced in the high 70s. And uh, for exact pricing and availability, you can visit our website, infinityoftacoma.com, and you can see if this vehicle is still in stock, and you can see what we currently have it priced at. We update our pricing every week, and we use market-based pricing. Uh, so some of the packages that we have on this one, the 82150 was the base MSRP, so that's close to $10,000. Uh, not about nine thousand dollars in options on it. So we have the driver's assistance pro package, seventeen hundred dollars, giving you extended traffic jam assistance, active driving assistant pro. The luxury seating package was twelve hundred dollars, giving you front ventilated seats, front massaging seats. Ooh, that's a nice uh, perk right there. Premium package was twelve hundred fifty dollars, giving you remote engine start, a heads-up display, and gesture control. So it's gesture control uh, for the uh, infotainment system. I haven't really completely mastered it, but. Uh, I think you can make like swiping motions uh, with your hand and or do gestures. Uh, see, it's kind of reacting right here. I'm just kind of doing random things, but you can actually control the infotainment system without touching it. You just do hand gestures. So it's pretty pretty smart thinking there on BMW's part. 22-inch uh, wheel package was $1,900. Uh, they look nice. Uh, glass controls, $650. It must be these. It kind of looks like a Savorsky crystal on the gear shifter. Really, really elegant. Um, extended shadow Sholon trim, $350, and a, there's a lot of standard equipment, of course, active blind spot, uh, front control, Warren City col collision mitigation, lane departure warning, rear view camera, park distance control, M Sport exhaust system, M Sport brakes, Sport automatic transmission, M Sport differential, adaptive M suspension, rear view camera, roof rails and high gloss, uh, Sense Tech dashboard. This is kind of like synthetic leather in the dashboard. Um, travel and comfort system. Brown ass green wood trim. Four zone climate control. Auto dimming ex driver exterior mirror. Ambient lighting. Panoramic, uh, panoramic moonroof. Multi contour seats. Heated front seats. Automatic high beams. Active guard. LED fog lights. Adaptive full LED lights. Apple CarPlay compatibility. Uh, connected per package pro. Wireless charging. Uh, live cockpit pro included in navigation. I'm not sure what that is. Wi-Fi hotspot with a uh, complimentary three. I don't know what that is. Three. I don't know what 3M means. Uh, CD player prep. I don't know who who listens to CDs anymore, but it's prep for it. 
apartment garden sound system, extended shuttle line trim, um, steering wheel aerodynamic kit, shuttle line exterior trim, um, and those are kind of the big ticket features we have on this uh, uh, X5 M50i. It's kind of, uh, I don't want to say uh, X5M or M6, but obviously that's not the correct vehicle. Uh, yes, beautiful controls. Um, lots of selectability and configurability as far as the suspension, uh, the behavior of the vehicle. Uh, you know, you have a drive mode selector. Really beautiful vehicle. Huge uh, screen, very crisp display for the infotainment system. Uh, a nice parking camera. And the cool thing too is you can project the navigation onto the center display here. This is configurable, so uh, it makes it a little bit easier. And then the heads up display is nice, so you don't have to look down off the road. I love the way this uh, steering wheel feels. Very comfortable, very supportive seats. I love the light interior. We actually just had a customer looking at this. He was in the market for one, but he wanted a dark interior. And I know darker interiors are easier to take care of, but there's something to be said about this light interior, especially with our overcast, you know, gloomy climate we have, you know, for a good part of the year in the Pacific Northwest. It's nice to be in a nice, bright interior. When I'm sitting in this thing, it kind of gives me a happier feeling just because it's I like the brightness of it uh, the colors and stuff but that's just my opinion but I also think think it goes nicely with the white exterior and man this thing is unbelievable to drive I can tell you we're a little jaded here in the car business you know I've been in the car business uh, over 20 years I've been in infinity 16 years I'm around nice luxury cars all day long uh, but some of our you know automotive experts or industry experts here they're smitten with this thing uh, you know, Infinity doesn't really have a product to compete with this, uh, but man, it is beautiful. And just the way it drives, uh, it's a beautifully driving vehicle. Um, it's very fast. You stomp on the gas from the all wheel drive system and over 500 horsepower, you can feel the front end just lifting off of all that power. It just wants to take off. It handles, it's a great all round vehicle. Uh, if you want a luxury car that's fun to drive, but the practicality of an SUV, a high-speed cruise missile. Uh, this thing checks a lot of boxes. It satisfies the car enthusiast in you of its performance driving, uh, you know, its performance driving dynamics. Uh, for someone looking for a full-on luxury vehicle, this thing is comfortable and beautiful. Lots of comfort and convenience. And then, from a practicality standpoint, it's a you know a crossover SUV. You have a high up commanding view of the road. You have lots of space. All-wheel drive traction. It really is a uh, very, very well done, well thought out automobile. And obviously with 8,000 miles being a 2020, it's pretty much in near new condition, hardly a mark on it. There's that 22 inch wheel package, humongous brakes. I think those are probably, if I'm not mistaken, probably the same brakes that you have on the uh, X5M. Um, it definitely looks like it. Huge brake calipers, huge rotors. Great interior space. It's a little bit of a larger vehicle, so it's very comfortable for four full-size adults, five in a pinch. You can charge your smartphone. I don't know what this is. Maybe this is like uh, if you want to put DVD screens back here, they plug in there. I'm not exactly sure what those are. Uh, that might be it. Rear climate control. The panoramic roof is nice because it allows lots of natural light in the interior and it also benefits the rear seat passengers. We have a complimentary delivery right now up to 250 miles. Contact us for more details. And of course, if you want to purchase this vehicle out of state, we do a lot of out of state purchases. Right now, we're actually working with some customers who are interested in buying a Panamera from us uh, from Utah. So, enclosed shipping, open shipping, uh, we can get you a quote. Um, the out-of-state purchase process is easier than you might think. All season mats, got a cargo area protector, of course power lift gate. Tinted windows. A very impressive vehicle. I like the uh, the blocked out uh, grill and other components in the vehicle. It really looks nice with that white exterior. And there's that awesome 4.4 liter twin turbo V8. They've been making this engine for quite a bit. Um, uh, they use and love their products and they've increased the power over the years and 523 horsepower. 
this is a very very quick vehicle and I can tell you with that sport exhaust system uh, that V8 sounds heavenly there's really nothing better sounding than a V8 engine uh, V12 sound nice there's some V6's that sound nice but for me V8's are the quintessential uh, car engine sound for uh, you know auditory joy and this has one of the nicest sounding ones I've heard in a while. Thanks for watching this video. Hope to see you soon and have a wonderful day.